God judge our heart because we are not allowed to judge or we don't know how to read the hearts of other people. Good morning family and friends. I got a wonderful chance during my theology studies to live with the fishermen, a group of fishermen experience their way of life. I was with them for three months. I remember in the evenings they will take this huge net, it's called drag net, and go around and put it in the sea. And they put a special weight to it so that it will sink slowly. Early morning, by 4 a.m., so many of them will come to the run, begin to pull, pull this, net ashore and when it comes to the shore I have seen it includes all kinds of stuff there is waste there is snakes there are small fish huge ones so once it is hauled to, hauled to shore it's uh, our responsibility like those of us who do not know how to fish go and collect all this. Certain things we put it back to the sea, but good ones we kept it. Gospel Jesus says a kind of similar story. Always there will be a separation between good and bad. But who does that? It's God's work. God judge our heart because we are not allowed to judge or we don't know how to read the hearts of other people. So God is asking us to allow that good and bad and do your good best and let God take care of the rest. Sometimes we wonder and criticize why all these evil things happening? Why all these sufferings? Why, why the church or our leadership doing such and such a things? Why this war and terrorism and killing? Why can't God just take control of all these things? But remember, God is so patient. He waits for the conversion of the souls. God's plan, we are not aware of it. Yeah, like the net which collects everything. God is asking us, the gospel message is asking us to be an open heart. We have no right to judge. What is asked of us to do good Avoid evil. Be with God. Try to be in that net so that God will choose us. May God bless us. Amen.